Hey guys, it's Erin with Happily We Go, uh, here with another Inspi Buy. This is week 12 already, can you believe it? Um, this week we featured a layout by Chelsea Verosmarty. I probably just butchered that, but anyways, it was gorgeous, and you can find out all the information at www.happilywego.com. So we're going to start off with some heavy black gesso and just cover the layout with that. And then dry it. Actually, this is like my favorite part because it dries matte and it's just such a cool look. Then we're going to go in with a Donna Downey uh, Script is Art. And I'm taking a makeup sponge because that's pretty much what I use. I never use them for my makeup, but always in my art. And I'm going to tell you this right now. That crack of my journal is going to be my nemesis this entire layout. My book is almost full and so it's just this huge hump and trying to get anything to go across the pages is just ridiculous. So I'm using the Versamark um, ink so that way I can go ahead and emboss on it. And I have the Lindy's embossing powder. I'm going to link all of the products in the description box below so you can look there. The one thing about Lindy's is it has glitter everywhere. So it does come off, but don't be scared by it, but just so you know. And I got this awesome Ranger heat tool from my friend Karen, who is amazing and always thinks of getting all these wonderful things for me. Uh, there must be some sort of a technique to it because I just couldn't get it to work right. So I went back to my handy dandy cheapo and boy, look how fast that embossed all that. And then I've got a mop brush and I'm just trying to get some of that glitter off there. And then just a dry paper towel. Now I have the Donna Downey um, anemone duo. I just love this stencil so much. But watch this. That hump, it's going to kill me again. I dried it a little bit just so I could layer the two. See what I mean? I don't know what possessed me to think that if I put the stencil back on top of it and redid it, it would make it better. All it did was just smush it out more. That's my curses. So I'm just gonna dry it and we're just gonna roll with it because you know what? I'm not a perfectionist. Well, I am, but I'm just trying to get over, in, get over it and move on. So now I've got the Dollar Rowney F&W liquid acrylics. These are the neons. I really had this vision of like these bright flowers popping off of the page. So I thought I'll paint it on with a paintbrush, but it just didn't give me the exact look that I wanted.
So finally I was like, forget it. I grabbed the dilution sprays just like Chelsea did and sprayed it on. And man, what a difference. They're just so vibrant, I love them. But I have to say, I think that Chelsea used a gloss acrylic paint in hers. I'd have to go back and check. But if the dilutions leave a bit of a sheen on the mat. You can kind of see it there in the, the pink reddish flower. And it was driving me crazy. So I just took a damp paper towel and then later on you'll see me use a paintbrush and some water and just try to go out and take some of it out so I could get that matte look again because I really like that. So then I grabbed the Dilutions, I think it was the Dirty Martini, yeah. And what you didn't see and I cut out was that this bottle hadn't been opened yet and I totally cut my finger open, blood everywhere, trying to get it <laughs> opened in a rush. But that's what you get for rushing. So see here you can see me trying to get some of that sheen out of there. Again, trying to get all those little bits out to keep it matte. Now I'm going to take some Mother of Pearl Nouveau Mousse and just add in some highlights. After I did this, I instantly hated it and was mad and then tried to backtrack. But I did like it around the edges. Going along, following again, just like Chelsea did, she used um, I think it was a gold on hers. Gave it just a hint of sheen, which was nice against that matte black. Then I took a stencil brush to try and just soften the edges a little bit. Move it around some. Then I was searching for my Finnabar waxes. And at first I used the Opal Magic Royal Robes, but I didn't like how it made it almost whiter. I wanted something that had a little bit more color. So then I grabbed the Amethyst Magic and used that instead and thought, ooh, that purple hint around the edges would be really pretty. So that's what you can see me doing there. And guess what? Once it's there, it's there. So just roll with it. So here I decided I just did not like the way those centers looked, so I took some black gesso and was just going to paint around the edge of it and kind of bring the orange back to that center. And then added a little bit of white dilutions. Then I'm taking the black gesso and I'm just painting it on a strip of uh, scrap watercolor paper. And then stick in that gorgeous purpley amethyst magic wax on top of it. So that way the sentiment kind of matches the background. When I first did this, I seriously thought that it said, create your own story. And then watching the playback, I realized it said, create, own your story. So I'm just gonna own my mistake and that's what the sentiment is gonna stay. I'm only human. <laughs> I 
I just still wasn't happy with the the color variation and blending so I took the big brush markers and just kind of brightened up areas and then took some copper bow bunny glitter paste just to add a little bling because I always have to have bling on my pages and after walking away and then coming back I decided I just could not leave that orange flower with all that texture mess up so guess what gesso is your friend and then you can just go back in and kind of do some touch-up work so that's what I'm gonna do here Just don't get carried away like I did because all of a sudden it's like, ooh, let me touch up over here. Oh, wait, maybe it needs a little bit more paint over there. Let me swap out and grab the detail brush. <laughs> but that's art. You're just having a good time. I have really enjoyed doing these Inspi by challenges, the inspired by other artists. Karen and I have put together the last 12 weeks and we're thinking maybe we'll change it up a little bit in the next weeks to come. But if you'd like to follow along with us, again, check it out at uh, happilywego.com or on Instagram. And thank you so much for hanging in there with me through this hot mess. <laughs>